Did you know this? The bader meinhof phenomenon, also known as frequency illusion, is a cognitive bias where once something has been brought to your attention, you start to notice it more often. This could be a word, a name, an object, or virtually anything. What you are noticing has not actually increased in frequency around you, but you are merely noticing it more due to your awareness. To understand why this happens, it's important to discuss a couple of cognitive processes, selective attention, and confirmation bias. Selective attention is the process where your brain pays more attention to certain stimuli over others. When something is pointed out to you or you learn something new, your brain places it into a important category. This is a mental marker of sorts that increases the likelihood of you noticing it when it appears in your environment. This happens because the human brain cannot process all information it receives, so it picks and chooses what to focus on. In the case of the bader meinhof phenomenon, this new information is now deemed significant, and thus is noticed more often. Confirmation bias is another cognitive bias where individuals favor information that confirms their pre-existing beliefs or values. In the case of the bader meinhof phenomenon, once you learn about something new and start seeing it more, each subsequent spotting of this information confirms your belief that it is indeed showing up more often. Thus, the cycle is perpetuated. To provide an example, let's say you've just learned about a particular model of a car you've never paid attention to before. Suddenly, you start noticing this car everywhere, on your way to work, in a movie you're watching, in a magazine ad, etc. It appears as though everyone suddenly owns this model of car. In reality, the car has always been present around you with the same frequency, but you are now more cognizant of its presence. The name Bader Meinhof comes from an instance where a commenter in an online forum noted this phenomenon after hearing two references to the infamous German group, the Bader Meinhof Gang, in close temporal proximity. Despite the group's activities dating back to the 1970s, the commenter noticed an apparent surge in references due to heightened awareness. It is not known why this particular name was chosen for the phenomenon, but it stuck and is now commonly used to describe this experience of perceived frequency. The default effect is a cognitive bias in behavioral economics where, given a choice between several options, people are more likely to stick with the default or preset option. This is often seen even when the alternative choices are more beneficial. The primary reason for this bias is that it requires less mental effort or decision making to stick with the default. Let's dig deeper into each component. Mental effort. Making decisions often requires energy and time. Even seemingly simple choices can lead to decision fatigue, a real psychological condition. To conserve cognitive resources, the brain sometimes takes shortcuts, one of which is sticking to the default option. Perceived endorsement. There can be a perception that a default option is a recommended or popular choice. If an option is pre-selected, it's easy to assume that experts or many people prefer this choice. Loss aversion. Switching from the default often feels like a loss. According to prospect theory, people feel losses more strongly than they feel comparable gains. So, people often stick with defaults to avoid potential regret. The default effect has been seen in many contexts. Organ donation. Countries with an opt-out system, where people are presumed to be organ donors unless they specifically choose not to be, have a much higher rate of organ donors than countries with an opt-in system where people have to actively choose to be organ donors. Retirement savings. In companies where employees are automatically enrolled in retirement savings plans, with the option to opt out, participation rates are significantly higher than in companies where employees have to opt in. Privacy settings. Most people stick with the default privacy settings on social media platforms, despite the fact that adjusting them could provide more personal data protection. It's important to understand the default effect because it can be used to influence behavior, for better or worse. It can be leveraged for positive outcomes, such as increasing participation in retirement savings or organ donation programs. But it can also be used in potentially manipulative ways. 
such as keeping people in higher cost services or agreeing to privacy terms they might not fully understand. Therefore, a conscious understanding of this bias can help individuals make more informed decisions. Thank you for watching.